everybody, it's Jenna. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video because I have rounded up some of my favorite tips and tricks to make your home really look and feel a lot more high-end and designer without spending a lot of money. So these are all things that I've implemented into my decor the last couple of months. Um, for those of you who are new here, we just got a new build home. We are first time home buyers. So we had to save a lot of money in order to be able to decorate our home. So these are just things that I've kind of implemented in my decor, shortcuts I've taken, little home decor hacks, ways to save money on big ticket appliances, and just little things that I feel like really make a big difference to refresh your space. So if any of that sounds good to you, then stick around because I think it's gonna be a really fun video. So if you guys are ready, let's get into the tips. Okay, so the first tip that I feel like makes your home look really high end in designer is to have custom curtains. Now I know what you're thinking, Jenna, custom curtains, those are really expensive. I can't afford those. And I'm like, I know, and neither can I. So I'm gonna tell you a little hack how you can kind of get custom curtains for cheap. So what I do is I go and I shop at Ikea for my curtains. If you guys didn't know already, that is like the best affordable place to buy curtains. They have so many different styles, so many different colors, all kinds of different lengths. You have a huge selection there and they are so affordable and really good quality too. So we went and picked out some really pretty casual looking curtains. You want to hang your curtains like almost at the ceiling. So I personally like to hang my curtains as high as I possibly can because it creates the illusion of taller ceilings because it really draws your eye up. If you hang your curtain rod right at the window, your eye kind of stops there and the higher you hang it, the higher your eyeballs have to go to travel to see the length of that and it really does create the illusion of a higher ceiling. We got the longest curtains that we possibly could so obviously they were way too long. They like waterfalled at the bottom and it just to me looked a little messy and and I personally think if you have custom curtains that just hang really flush with the floor, that is such a designer look. So in order to get this custom look, we took a little $2 iron on hem from, I think I got it from Michaels. And all I did was I cut the curtain a little bit longer than the floor and I measured it right to where it would be flush with the floor. I folded it over on the iron on hem, ironed it and voila, you have custom curtains that you can't honestly even tell are hemmed with iron on hem. So if you guys have bare windows, builder grade blinds, whatever, and you just need a little bit of a refresh, I highly recommend going to Ikea, getting some cheap curtains, hanging them as high as you possibly can, and then giving them that custom hem with iron on hem. It's super duper easy and very inexpensive. I think two full panels were about $35. So like one window would be $35, which especially if you don't have that many windows in your home or like a big sliding glass door on both sides or something like that, it could be a really cheap fix to just really add some drama and visual interest into your space. Okay, so my next tip is to elevate your greenery. And it sounds kind of weird, but I think it'll make sense once I start explaining it. So in every room, I feel like it's really important to have greenery. If you look at any designer room, it's super rare for them to not have a statement piece of greenery in there. I think it really just freshens up the space and is definitely a must have to just make your room have that designer high end feel. So that statement greenery can get really expensive really quick, especially when you want to have it in multiple rooms throughout your home. This guy behind me was $130 from Home Goods, and that is considered cheap. So that can really add up super quickly and I just didn't have the budget for that. So what I decided to do was to go to my local greenery and get smaller to medium sized plants and then elevate them. So I'm spending less money on the total like product, if that makes sense. So you could have this really tall statement greenery piece, but you didn't end up spending a lot of money on it. So I would take these small to medium sized plants and get elevated planters, stools, or just like really tall planters with a high area to just make that plant seem a lot taller. So I've implemented this all throughout my home. I have lots of raised planters. I have a little stool in my bathroom where I put a little four foot olive tree. And I think that that just like really makes a statement in there and looks super nice. Um, and I just spent 20 bucks on the stool and 40 bucks on the little olive tree. Like I said, if you guys wanna go cheaper, I definitely would recommend getting live plants. My personal favorite are fiddle leaf figs. I feel like I've had a lot of luck with them. Um, they don't really grow super fast for me unless they are put in a ton of natural light 
bite, but they stay alive and that is good enough for me. So um, I think that they look really nice and they're semi easy to take care of. So I am a flight attendant and I'm gone a lot and they don't need to be watered that often and they just kind of chill if you leave them in the right spot. So yeah, if your space doesn't have any greenery in it or a little corner just needs a little something extra, I definitely recommend going and getting yourself just a cheap small to medium sized plant and then raising that with a cheap planter or a stool. I know Marshalls, TJ Maxx, and Home Goods have their raised planters almost always for under 30 bucks. And same thing with Target, they have some really good ones. So just look and see what you can find and get creative and just liven up that space with a statement greenery piece. Okay, so my next tip is to utilize artwork. And I know you're thinking like, duh, Jenna, put artwork in a room. But I, let me tell you my favorite types of artwork to incorporate into a space. So I think it's really pretty to get a very muted tone, like neutral landscape photo. And this just really gives the room like a calmed effect. It can take you to like a sentimental place if you love the desert with like a desert photo or the beach or somewhere you went on vacation, stuff like that. I just think that that really makes a space feel a lot more relaxing, a lot more calming. It kind of adds like a casual air to the room. I just personally love like muted landscape photos. So um, I am actually a photographer and I do have all of the photos in my own home on my Etsy. So you can download the digital file and then go print it yourself from there. So then what you can do if you get one of those downloads is just go print it on MPEX. And for an 8x10 print, it's like two or three dollars, which is really good. Um, you just order it on there and then they send it to you. And I think it's really great quality. I'm super picky because I am a photographer. So it's one of the best services that I've used that's available to non photographers. So um, yeah, I really like MPEX. And if you guys want to get a big picture that you want to blow up or whatever, um, I just get it on a post and a big 20 inch by 30 inch print is only like 30 bucks on there for a poster so you can get some really pretty custom artwork for not a lot of money once you have your artwork that you love my personal favorite thing to do right now that's just really trendy and kind of like designer in rooms is propping it so um, if you have a shelf or a console table or against your backsplash something like that it's just very trendy to prop it up instead of actually hanging it. If you have like a space where you just kind of want to utilize a propped photo, I think that that's a great way to refresh and kind of rejuvenate a space. Okay, so this next tip is to use eBay coupons. And when I first heard of this, my dad was the one who told me about it. I thought it sounded super sketchy, but we've done it four or five times now and we've never had a problem. So what we do is we go on eBay and if we're buying an item from like Home Depot or Wayfair or whatever, we'll just type in like the Home Depot coupon and you can buy a coupon code. It only works for online orders. So this is really good if you guys are making like a big ticket item purchase, like a sofa or a refrigerator or something like that, where it's probably like a thousand dollars and up is going to like really save you money because a lot of the coupons are like 20 ish dollars, but they can end up saving you hundreds of dollars if it's like a 15% off coupon. So we did this with our refrigerator. We did this, I think with our bed frame, things like that. Um, you can go and just buy these coupons and then put the little coupon code in that the seller gives you and it saves you a lot of money. So especially if you have to buy a lot of things for your home or whatever, this is one of my absolute favorite hacks. We do this every time we're buying a big ticket item. Um, or if you guys just like are making a really big purchase, like at the Home Depot, you're buying fencing materials, just anything like that um, this is definitely a really good tip to utilize okay so my next money saving tip is to shop at furniture outlets and this was not something that occurred to me until I was desperate for a certain pottery barn piece of furniture and I was like googling how to get pottery barn for cheap and then someone was like oh check out the outlets and that had never occurred to me that there was a Pottery Barn outlet before. So um, it's not just Pottery Barn. They have West Elm, Crate and Barrel, Restoration Hardware, stuff like that. They are all over the country and you should really research if there is one close to you because this ended up saving us literally thousands of dollars. So we went and we got our coffee table. It was normally a $700 coffee table. We got it for $280. Our sofa we got for $2,000 and it's retails for $6,000. So we went to 
to the Pottery Barn outlet in Gaffney, South Carolina, and it's about an hour away from us, and it was definitely worth the road trip. Um, if you guys are a little farther than that, or it's like a three hour drive or whatever, you can always call and see if they have certain items in stock. Um, I believe you can actually be on like a wait list if they get a certain item in. So we are actually on the wait list for the Folsom console table, but we have been on the list for months and I've never received a call. So I cannot say if that really works or not, but you can always call them. Just say, Hey, do you guys have any Toscana dining tables in stock or whatever? And they'll tell you. So if you know, it might be worth a trip for you or, you know, something like that. We rented our U-Haul for the day just to get all of our stuff home. And it honestly worked out pretty well. And it was definitely worth it for the money that we saved. So, um, if you guys live in a bigger city, definitely check out and see if there are any outlets around you or if you have family near an outlet, just like kind of something to think about. Um, if you want to get some really nice high end designer looking furniture for cheap. So, okay. So my next tip is to repurpose furniture. And I know that furniture can be very, very expensive. So if you guys don't have it in your budget, I highly recommend you kind of look at giving your furniture a refresh. You can do a lot with a coat of paint and some new hardware. So the dresser behind me was actually a flip that we did. Um, it was a $60 dresser from offer up and we totally refreshed it. So yeah, if it's something that we can do, you guys can do it too. I have a video on it and I will link it below. If you guys are willing to put a little bit of extra elbow grease in it, you can even sand off some stain and restain. That's what we did with the top of our dresser here. It made it kind of easy because we were just doing the top, but um, there's lots of things that you can do to just kind of like switch things up. You could add like maybe some cane to a drawer, just things like that. But yeah, just look at giving your furniture a little bit of a refresh. It can still look really high end. Lots of designer pieces are just painted pieces. So, you know, kind of like scroll through some of your favorite designers and see what kind of furniture they're using. And maybe you can replicate that with one of your current existing pieces. So something to think about. Okay. So my next tip is to utilize statement pieces and what I mean by this is I really feel like it makes a big difference when you strip down your decor to just very simple moments, if that makes sense. So I don't really like having a lot of clutter or a lot of knickknacky items all over the place. Obviously styling with like books and like bigger bowls and like things like that are really my favorite ways to go. Um, I think as small as I'm willing to go is like a little knot or a candle or something like that. I think that when you invest in like a bigger statement piece, it kind of speaks for itself. One of my favorite statement pieces to get for cheap is just a really big, large base and then get some stems from outside or, you know, buy some really cheap fake ones. Um, so I personally have gotten some pompous grass. I sprayed it with hairspray and that is like one of my favorite statement pieces. I think when you have like those fluffy stems and like a really big vase, it just kind of really creates a really pretty statement. And I spent 20 bucks on the vase and the pompous grass was free. I just think it makes a really big difference when you don't over clutter the room and you have these like big statement pieces that make an impact. You don't even have to spend a lot of money on this stuff. You can just go to Goodwill, get a really big vase, give it a nice coat of black spray paint and then find yourself some stems from outside and voila you have a beautiful statement piece so um, things like this I think are just really important to keep the cost down of all of your decor and when you buy knickknacky things all over the place it can kind of get a little bit expensive so if you're kind of tight on budget just invest in one big large piece and it'll kind of take up a lot of space and you know draw your eye just to that one particular piece and kind of create a little mini focal point and you don't have to have as much like decor kind of all over the place if that makes sense and this next one is like very weird and random but it's kind of a personal preference one but I've been doing it recently and I feel like it kind of really has made a difference throughout my home so it is switching out your soap dispensers and I personally love like that amber glass apothecary soap dispenser look and you can get these things for like four bucks at TJ Maxx, Marshalls and Home Goods. They almost always have them there and um, they're not always like amber glass. Sometimes they are plastic, but they have that amber glass look and you honestly can't tell. A lot of my favorite designers are incorporating these kind of like apothecary looking soap dispensers into their designs if they, you know, do a bathroom or whatever. This also goes for dish soap or um, like cleaning spray. They have a lot of pretty ones at home goods and Marshalls so I would definitely give them a look. I know this kind of sounds stupid and like a little minute detail but 
hopefully you guys are washing your hands every day so it's something you use every day and I think that it's just like a really nice kind of personal touch and my personal favorite ones to look for are the Castelbell brand I think that those smell so delicious and they have that really pretty made in Portugal gold seal on them my favorite scent is sugared almond I think it just smells so nice and expensive it's just like a very rich smelling scent it's kind of like you know warm vanilla and some like woody tones I really really love that one so you know scent is just really great for us mentally so I think that switching that up can kind of like refresh your home and just give you a little bit of something extra you know so if you guys are in need a little refresh or you don't have a lot of money but you just want to make a little bit of a change to your home I would definitely recommend going out and getting some really pretty apothecary looking soap dispensers that smell really nice all right you guys and that concludes this video I hope that it kind of inspired you to get out there and refresh maybe part of your room or just kind of got your wheels turning how you can kind of decorate your space without spending a lot of money so I just want to say thank you guys again so much for all of your kind comments and support with my channel it really means a lot if you learned something from this video or you liked it please make sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments so I can do more videos like this in the future um, again thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video bye